Hello friends, welcome to this video. In the previous video, we saw the concept known as filters and slicers. Now in this video, we'll be taking another related topic, which is known as creating the timeline. First of all, we'll see that what is this timeline and how we can create the timeline and how we can also use the timeline. So let us start in this video, how to create the timeline. This is what we had done in the previous video. That is, we created a pivot table and then here we created the three slicers here, one by one region, category and the subcategory. Now, in continuation with this same pivot table, now I want to create here a timeline. Now, see, normally the timeline is created for the date field. Whenever you are having a date field and if you want to play with the date values, then you can definitely play with the timeline or you can create a timeline here. So I will select here one of the cell within the pivot table and then I'll go to the pivot table analyze tab. In the pivot table analyze tab, I'm having this button known as insert timeline. This is one option for creating the timeline or I can also go to the insert tab and in the insert tab, I'm having this button known as timeline. So both these buttons are same. So let us click here this timeline button in this insert tab. So I click on this timeline. Now, when you click on the timeline, then here it is showing me that, okay, you want to create the timeline for which particular field, order date or ship date, or you can also create the timeline for both the date fields. So whatever the number of date fields you have in your data set, it will show you all these options, the date options. Now, let's say I want to create the timeline for the order date. So I put here the tick mark, order date, timeline. I click on OK button. And now here our timeline is created. So this thing, I can put it over here below let me make it a little bit smaller so this is our timeline i can also make it bigger for you here you can see that we are having the option that is currently it is written in german that is year quarter month and the days so let me select here the year i'll also click this button here so now i can see that all the years are available here 2021 2022 2023 and 2024 so you can decide that you want to create the timeline for the year or quarter or months or days let us start with the year and now I can select here, let's say I want to see the data from 2022 till 2023. So I'm selecting here only the two years. And now you can see that this data has changed. If I make it here again full, then I'm getting the full data here. Now, instead of year, I can also go for the quarter. So now we can see that for 2021, we are having quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, and quarter four. And similarly for other three years also. So here also I can decide, suppose if I want to see the data from quarter three, 2021 till quarter two, 2023. So I can play with this timeline here and accordingly the data will change here. Similarly from quarter I can also go to the month and now here I can play with this month also. I can select here my range here and then I can also go for the days. Yeah. So here we are having the various days but let us go back to the quarter and now I can play with these various quarters. So this is what we are having the timeline. It is a very very important facility that we have in the pivot table. Now if you select this timeline then above you can see that we are having a tab known as timeline tab i can click on the timeline tab now in the timeline tab also just as we have seen the slicers in the earlier video if you have not seen the video of slicers and filters then please check out this video it is very very important for all of you and i'm putting the link on the top of this video kindly check it so here i can give some name to this timeline report connection this i'll be showing you in the next videos then i can also give here some color suppose by default here we are having the blue color but if i don't like the blue color then i can go for here any other color light color dark color let me select here suppose green color this is dark one this i can adjust bring forward send backward that i can do it i can do the alignment then i can go for the height and width of this timeline i can increase or decrease the height and width then here we are having these four options that is header selection label and scroll r and time level so header what is this header header is this one this order date is my header if i remove the tick mark from the header then you see that the header is gone here i want to keep it back so this is my header order Order date then here it says selection label selection label is this one this 2021 to 2024 this is my selection label if i do not want to see it i can remove it but i will suggest you to keep it on then we have scroll bar you see that this is your scroll bar now just now i'm not using any scroll bar but let's say if i'm making it smaller now you see that this is my scroll bar so if i do not want to see the scroll bar i can remove this stigma from the scroll bar and now here we are having like this but i would suggest you that if you are having more options here then you can go for the scroll bar and then we are having the 
time level. What is this time level? Let me remove this tick mark. So time level is this one, yeah, where it is written here, year, quarter, month, and days. So this is your time level. So if you do not want to see this area, you can remove this tick mark from the time level. And now you see that this is gone. These are the options that we have for the timeline. Timeline is mostly used for the date field. And then we are having the slicers. Slicers are used for the other fields, the particular category fields here. I hope that you have got a good overview of what is timeline and how to use the timeline. Now in the next video, we'll be going for another important topic in pivot table that is known as pivot chart. So we'll see first of all that how to create the first pivot chart. And then I will also show you that how you can do the formatting of that pivot chart. So see you then in the next video. Thank you very much.